Hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to get the ice cream sandwich imitation launcher on your Android phone. Uh, basically, it's going to be, it's not obviously set in stone that this is going to be the launcher for ice cream sandwich, but it is uh, basically just an imitation launcher that's what uh, is expected to be the ice cream sandwich, the latest uh, Android version for your Android phone. I believe it's 2.4, don't hold me to it, but I believe they're going to be calling the latest Android update 2.4 ice cream sandwich. But don't hold me to that. But anyways, this is how you get the, uh, the nice imitation launcher. But anyways, I'm, I have my uh, Nexus S4G right here. I believe it works on pretty much all Android devices. I've tested it on a few different ones and all of, it, all of them worked. So just a heads up there. Um, go ahead and click on the link in the description of the video. Take you to the Android Creative Syndicate forum right here. Um, you can, as you can see, Ice Cream Sandwich Imitation Launcher. Uh, here's the download for it right here. Just click on it, download it. It's going to be an APK file. It's going to be called Ice Cream IS, ICS 2.4 Launcher APK. So just like that. ICS Ice Cream Sandwich 2.4 Launcher APK. Once it's on your computer, go ahead and plug in your phone into your computer. So like so, just go ahead and plug it on in and then mount, uh, turn on USB storage. So you want to mount your SD card to your PC. Once it's there, um, once your PC recognizes it, it'll pop up a little screen like so. And as you can see, it pops it up and then just go ahead and exit out or open folder to view files. And as you can see, it's removable disk G in my case. So that's what the uh, SD card for my phone is. I'm just going to click and drag that APK file onto that removable disk G. So just click and drag it onto removable disk G like that. Let it transfer on over. Once it's done transferring over, I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and then just hit eject. Eject that SD card. So once it's ejected, um, I can just hit turn off USB storage and unplug my phone. So once that's done, um, you're actually going to need to go to a file explorer on your phone, whether your phone came with one or you can download one from the market. In my case, I downloaded ES File Explorer. Um, as you can see right there, ES File Explorer. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. As you can see, it opens it on up. Just hit yes, and then go ahead and scroll down, and then it, you're going to need to go to that APK file, that ICS uh, APK file. So the, here it is right there. It's called Ice Cream Sandwich Launcher right there. Click on it, and it says install block for security reasons or blocked installation. Just go to settings and check unknown sources right there, and then hit yes. Um, so just uh, check unknown sources, hit back, and then go back to that uh, APK file, the ICS 2.4 launcher file, and then hit install. So let it install like that. This application installed. Go ahead and hit done. And uh, once that's done right there, you can just go ahead and hit back. And as you can see, I still have the stock in gingerbread launcher. I'm going to hit the home button. It's going to pop up a couple options, which is gingerbread launcher and ice cream sandwich 2.4 launcher. So I'm going to click on it, and there you go. I am now running the ice cream sandwich uh, Android 2.4 launcher on my Nexus S4G. As you can see, uh, a nice look to it. Basically, you got phone... Uh, browser and you have running apps button right there and you have your app door button as well. You can scroll through like normal as you can see. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go to my app drawer. It's uh, obviously it goes up and down for your app drawer as you can see the nice over scroll glow once you hit the bottom and top. So uh, nice look to it. You can click on uh, uh, widgets up there and it's going to pop up in your widget screen or with stuff you can add to your home screen in case you wanted to. You can also go ahead and hit menu and go to launcher settings right here. Hit launcher settings and there you go. You got settings panel. There's not many settings. Uh, basically you got wallpaper wallpaper hack. I think it scrolls the wallpaper for you and then live wallpaper support. You can hide your icon labels, enable desktop bounce and enable hide notification bar I believe. So just like that those are some options and you can just hit apply settings if you want to change some options but um, I can go to running apps as well as you can see up at the top it says running apps and you can scroll through and it shows some apps that are running for you so if you wanted to quickly go to one let's say I wanted to go to the market real quick so I can tap on market opens up market right there just like that so that's pretty nice right there 
Um, but that's some a nice feature, I believe. Uh, you can also press and hold the home screen, and you have uh, wallpapers that come with the app. So you can click on it. It's got two nice ones, uh, as you can see, this nice wallpaper, and I believe this one as well. So I went ahead and clicked on one of them, and that was one of the wallpapers. I can go ahead and go to the, show the other one for you guys. And go ahead and click on this one as well. So a nice couple wallpapers that come with it as well, in case you're interested in that. But yeah, other than that, that's how you get the uh, Ice Cream Sandwich Android 2.4 launcher on your Android. Android phone. Uh, if you do have any questions, run into any problems at all, feel free to ask, leave a comment, send me a message. I'll be happy to help you out. You can follow me on Twitter at QBKing77. All links are going to be in the description of the video. Uh, feel, feel free to subscribe to me as well for future how-to videos and give this video a thumbs up if you, if you like it. Uh, and as always, I hope you guys like the video. Thanks for watching.